So before we jump into uh, what is Cloud9 and why we need it, uh, let's go through a pretty uh, common scenario uh, that we all face. Uh, so let's say you have a, a desktop at home, uh, probably your dream machine. Uh, you built it, uh, maybe it has like really cool graphics card, uh, tons of memory, um, and, and and like a really powerful uh, processor, right? And you have the latest uh, IDE, um, and it has all the patches, and you have that super cool uh, color scheme add-on on that IDE uh, for your favorite programming language, and you have most of the personal projects uh, there, right? So uh, if if we if we say this is you, you are pretty happy work on working on this uh, home desktop. Now let's say you also have an office laptop, um, which is decent, but not as powerful as your home desktop. And generally for office laptop, um, there are some restrictions on what version of software you can use or not. Uh, so it doesn't have the latest IDE, um, but still still it's okay. And your favorite add-ons are not compatible, but you found some add-ons, some older add-ons. Uh, you, are, you are making it work, right? And you moved your personal projects using drives and disks. So you did some tweaks. Uh, it's it's still, still okay, uh, but not as good as your home desktop. So you're neutral about it. Now for the third scenario, uh, let's say it's holidays and you have to go to one of your relatives' home. And you know what, you don't want to carry your whole desktop or even the office laptop. So, uh, I mean, you, th you think that they have a, a PC you can use and you get there and that's what they have, right? So um, you are like, okay, so uh, this machine uh, is so old, uh, there is no USB port. Uh, so basically it's the new IDE uh, is not compatible um, and, and forget about add-ons, right? Uh, so you are pretty, pretty sad about it. Now let's take a look at how this looks uh, with Cloud9. Okay, with that previous uh, problem scenario in mind, how does AWS Cloud9 uh, help us? So let's just explore what is AWS Cloud9. So AWS Cloud9 is a cloud-based IDE that write, run, debug your code with just a browser. Uh, so basically, it runs in an underlying EC2, uh, granting you massive processing power uh, because you can choose what kind of EC2 uh, you want to use for Cloud9. And code add-ons and customizations are saved in Cloud. So, um, so you get a consistent experience, no matter which machine you log in from. And yes, your favorite color scheme is saved as well. So let's take a look at the previous scenario and how it would work with Cloud9. Uh, so from your home desktop, office laptop, or that old machine, as long as they have internet connection, uh, you can log into AWS Cloud9 and have a consistent, seamless experience. Uh, it does not matter what kind of hardware uh, each of these machines uh, has, right? Because since you are running Cloud9 in um, AWS, uh, you will have access to the same kind of processing power uh, as the underlying EC2. Uh, so hopefully uh, this gives you a good idea about how powerful AWS Cloud9 is and what, what is the good use case of it. So in the next slide, we're gonna explore some additional features of AWS Cloud9. AWS Cloud9 also um, has these additional uh, features. So you can code together with friends. So basically uh, you could do pair programming. Uh, it has seamless integration with Lambda. You can write, run, and actually debug Lambdas. Uh, so there is no way to debug Lambdas in Lambda console, uh, but from Cloud9, you can do it easily. Uh, you can also deploy Lambdas quite easily from Cloud9. And then in Cloud9, you have direct terminal access utilizing AWS CLI. Um, and then it supports languages beyond Lambda. Uh, so it's not just for Lambda. If you are uh, coding outside of Lambda, uh, it, is, it is meant to be a full-fledged IDE. 
and of course it has tons of color schemes um, so one thing to note guys demo for all the above features uh, are shown in the course I like cloud nine a lot and I use it um, for all my work uh, for all my coding uh, so I wanted to uh, show you all the features uh, in action so that you guys can learn all these features and start using Cloud9. Um, the reason is AWS is going to add more and more features into Cloud9. So if you get started now, uh, by the time they come up with more features, you guys would be a Cloud9 Pro. All right, guys, uh, see you in the next lecture.